YouTube. Mudcat here, welcome back. I'm uh, out today for a ride. I'm off. I'm gonna ride over to Roadhouse Harley Davidson in Mount Vernon, Illinois. I'm gonna ride over there and try to get my hog mileage straightened out. I was down in Kentucky yesterday and the only entry that they show is my last entry, which was 28,000 miles. So, uh, I've already got a 40,000 mile patch, pin, whatever, and uh, they seem to, don't be, that's the only mileage that I have entered, that was the last one. So, uh, it should be close to 70,000, 75,000. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to go over there and see if they can straighten it out. And um, anybody else ever have any issues with their mileage? I, or does anybody even do it? Uh, I know it's a marketing ploy to keep you coming in the dealership and keep you on the email list. And, but, you know, it's, it's something to do, it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a patch and it's a pin, and I don't put either one of them on my jacket or vest, so I guess it really doesn't matter. But I like to keep track of it myself. I'm currently about 21,200 some change miles for the year this year down a little bit in years past because of uh, COVID I lost almost the whole month of June being sick so uh, there's that and uh, you know it, a lot of places were closed this year I mean we rode but uh, you know we didn't go out to eat because you couldn't get anywhere to eat. Most of the places were closed. So we just, uh, you know, took some food with us or stop at a convenience store. Casey's Pizza was a staple. But, uh, you know, we just do what we can. Do you guys participate in the hog mileage program or ride 365 do you participate in any of that or if you don't ride a Harley or in hog do you uh, participate in any other maybe uh, I don't know if Indian or Honda or any of them have a uh, mileage program to participate in but uh, if they do do you participate in how was your mileage this year compared to years past. It's about 120 miles over here running the interstate and we're going to take the back roads. I'm going to meet a guy in uh, up here by Evansville. He's going to ride over with us. We're going to go together, Mark, and uh, he's got a really nice looking street ride. not seen it in person, just seen pictures, but uh, we're going to ride over there. I don't know how he is at riding in cold weather, but it's about 39, 40 degrees here this morning right now, but it's sunny, so that sun helps a lot, as you know, and uh, I'm going to ride over there and see if I can get this straightened out. They're easier to deal with than my local dealership. Just have better luck over there. I don't know. Nothing really wrong with my local dealership, I guess. I just I had better luck over there. So uh, I don't want to say nothing bad about anybody. But if you're in the market for a bike and you're in this area, I would uh, encourage you to check out Roadhouse Harley Davidson. I have no affiliation with them. I just bought three motorcycles over there. And 
uh, they've always treated me well. And uh, I like that. The good people. Of course, you know, most of them do treat everybody well. So, uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'll talk to you guys later. You guys uh, have a good day. Hope you get out and ride. And uh, don't be afraid of the cold. Bundle up. Get you some electric gear. Get out and ride that thing, man. That's what it's for. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, be safe. Have a blessed day. I'm out of here.